Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about all the good things about Elise Parker. Elise is at it again, folks. Please smash the like button, share this video with your friends, turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos. Today we're gonna be talking about how Elise is never going to change. If you guys watched one of Elise's comeback videos, this is what, her 20th comeback video that she has done in the past two years? Pathetic. She's always saying she's coming back. She said, and I quote, that she is a sensitive human being. In my opinion, the reason why she said that she's a sensitive human being is that people will keep kissing her butt. She hates when people give her constructive criticism. She hates when people call her out. She only wants people to be yes men. Yes, women. Yes, kiss her fake blonde booty. She doesn't want any quote-unquote negativity. If you challenge her, if you ask any questions, then she blocks you. She deletes your comments. She considers you a hater. Just people projecting their perspectives and viewpoints on everything. On who I am as a person, my character, my values, my morals, like intentions, all the things. And it was a lot, especially for a very sensitive soul. Especially for a very sensitive soul. She is mentally messed up in the head. She really needs to get off the drugs, get off the shrooms. I started laughing so hard when she said she was a sensitive human being because honestly, that's just a load of crap. She is manipulating everyone to feel sorry for her because she keeps bringing up the quote-unquote hate, the quote-unquote negativity, which is her own fault because she's a fraud. She's a scam artist. We've all seen her change in such a negative way because of money. She doesn't care about anyone except herself. If you guys have noticed, she's telling you guys how grateful she is that you guys are following her, but then all she wants from you guys is your money. She's always bringing up her offerings whenever she says how grateful she is for you guys. Because guess what? She doesn't give a flying fuck about you. It's only for her rich ass fake lifestyle. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And I want to say thank you to everyone who is tuning in to this right now and consistently receiving the messages that I share, commenting on the posts that I share, sending me messages in the DMs and communicating, connecting. And I just feel so fucking grateful. Like for this aspect of technology and social media that allows us to connect with like-minded individual, individuals, individuals around the world. It's, it's really special and I'm grateful for you being a part of this community and the gift that it brings to me and the hopeful gift that it brings to you. Yeah, just want to spread the gratitude, the genuine appreciation that you exist and that you're here right now. Also, if you have been resonating deeply with the messages here in this community, all things that I share here on my page, and you are looking for more, more support, more guidance, more insights, more practical action steps and tools that you can apply into your own life to enhance your clarity, your confidence, your presence, leadership, your impact, all the good stuff. I want to share with you the two offerings that I currently have available. My newest offering is called Higher Self Initiation. It is a 30-day online experience and it's so fucking amazing. It is for those who feel like it's difficult to make decisions, it's difficult to be your true self, and my more well-known program that I have been running for over two years now is called Alignment Accelerator. Another thing I wanted to mention in her latest video, and I took a screenshot of this, thank God, 
in her latest video, Mega Life Update, honestly looks different. There's something off about her. I don't know if it was the lighting. I don't know what. I also like took a screenshot of her. I sent it to my friend and I t said, I feel like Elise got Botox or darkened her eyebrows or something. Something is very, very off. If you look and watch that video, Elise looked like something happened, like something's different about her. And then my friend says, yes, it looks like she darkened her eyebrows, but someone else commented and said, you look really skinny, no negativity, just letting you know. And I I knew something was different about her. I just couldn't put my finger on it. But she does look a little different. But it, you know what's really sad? Elise considers this hate. So she deleted the comment. She deleted this comment because this girl was concerned about Elise's health. But Elise, considers that hate and negativity. So as, instead of addressing Elise's health, she just blocks her. So I went back on the YouTube video, I scrolled through the comments, and this comment was deleted. Elise will never change. And it's really sad how this girl said, you look really skinny, no negativity. So this is more of a concern comment. But Elise, no, 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 no. If you're not kissing her butt, if you're not sending her positive vibes, spread the love, then you're a hater. Elise is never going to change everyone. If you guys watch her latest videos, everyone is just kissing her butt and it is disgusting. Everyone is acting like Elise is God in the comment section and it is disturbing. And I vow I am never going to stop making videos about Elise. Let me know your thoughts about that in the comments below. Okay, you guys, so if you didn't know, Elise is moving back to Hawaii, obviously, because she is desperate to regrow her channel because that's where she was making the most money. That's where she was being the most of a scam artist, of a fraud, of a fake vegan. She was using the plant-based lifestyle to make money, but she would call herself vegan. So on Instagram, Elise showed us a mini grocery haul of what she is eating and she told us that in the Airbnb there's no oven, there's no way to cook the food. So she told us that she is going to be eating vegan. I'm sorry, but you can't eat vegan. Elise is so uneducated and dumb. What Elise Parker is doing is that she's eating plant-based. Veganism is an ethical lifestyle choice. Veganism is for the animals. Plant-based is what you consume in your mouth, in your body. Plant-based is food. Veganism is for the animals. And this whole time, Elise just keeps proving how uneducated she is. So I just got to my little Airbnb literally just a minute ago. And I want to show you a little bit of the food and stuff that I just stocked up on. Um, before getting here, I didn't realize that this place doesn't have um, like a stove top or an oven or anything, but it does have a mini fridge. So I'm going to be eating mostly vegan for the next two days until I go to my friend's house. So I want to show you what I got. First of all, hydroponic lettuce, the best ever. I'll show you this again once I open it up because it's like the fluffiest lettuce I've ever had. And then I got two of these um, like macadamia nut cheeses with herbs in them and I already ate one of them with a cucumber. I literally just like ate the cucumber and dipped it and ate the cucumber, the whole cucumber. So 
there's that. And these are so freaking okay, So then I also got, oh my gosh, there's so much sand at the bottom of the bag that I just pulled this out of. But this is like a, a vegan pesto, which I'm super excited about. I'm obsessed with pesto. And then I got one avocado. It's rock hard but it'll ripen in a few days and then I went to a different store and I got some crackers these are obviously not local but to dip them in the pesto and then I got some caffeine for tomorrow so good and I got some toothpaste Dr. Bronner's and I also got shampoo and conditioner and I got a little bit of chocolate for tonight Honey Mama's coffee truffle so that's what we're working with right now Okay, so here we have round two of my little grocery haul featuring the cookie frogs outside. So I got a mango, which is a little bit ripe, but not, not fully ripe yet. And then I got some tomatoes. I got another cucumber so I can redo what I did today. And then I got these three little things I already started using eating some of this one. This is purple sweet potato and like veganese and some veggies. And then I have a little tuna salad inside of this one. And then this is literally the best. Local pickled seaweed. But let me show it to you. I know maybe it doesn't look good. But it's so good. I think it's great that Elise bought a bunch of plant-based foods, but at the same time, it's very different than what she actually eats, which is the same three items. Bacon, eggs, and salmon. <laughs> so, bravo Elise for actually taking care of your body just a smudge. Okay, everyone. Well, let me know all your thoughts in the comments below. I will continue making these videos. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!